being in Christ Jesus is something to do with everyday life. And I'd love you to know that, you know, and to know what that is. And here's where my heart and my head feels for you, because when you go on to, you know, it's pretty strong that in verse 6, you see, verse 6 of Romans 8, to set the mind on the flesh is death. But to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. And my heart goes out to you because I know some of you, some of you I don't know, but some of you I do know. And I think a number of you have little idea of what that means, you know. You, you want to know and you say to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. <gasps> yeah, yeah, well, and we're all mixed up in it, you know. Set on the mind on the flesh, all we men, I don't know who the latest beauty is in the movies, but you know, you think, oh yeah, I shouldn't set my mind on flesh, you know, sex or anything like that, that's death. And set my mind on the spirit, yeah, that's thinking of God and thinking of church. And we have all kinds of strange ideas of what to set the mind on the spirit means and to set the mind on the flesh means. And so that's what I'd like to try to share with you today and if God guides us, you know, in the next few Sundays. What is it to live in the Spirit? What does it mean, this business of living in the Spirit? We need to start right back in a very uh, basic uh, truth. That is the truth of why God made you and me, why God made us. And you find it back there in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 3. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 3. And you see it on page 1065. Page 1065. 1 John and chapter 1 and verse 3. This is why God made us. Why he made you. 1 John 1 and verse 3. You see the top left-hand corner of page 1065. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you may have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. That's why God made you. God made you to have fellowship with him. And I hope you don't go to sleep at that and think, oh yeah, that means I'll be walking around his throne with candles and all kinds of things in my hands. No, no, fellowship is friendship. Friendship, that's the dearest thing in this world. You know it is. You know it is beautiful. The friendships that you have, that's about all you've got. Because all the money goes, all the businesses go, all the professions die, but you've got friendship. Friendship is the dearest thing that we have in this world. And it's the dearest thing in the universe. God made you and me to be his friends. And loved ones, you have to cast out of your mind all silly ideas of God, you know. You have all kinds of wild ideas of him as a kind of holy, holy person who doesn't know you at all. He is the dearest guy in the whole universe. He knows you better than your mom knows you. He knows you better than your best pal in the bar knows you. He knows your worst parts. He bore them in himself on Calvary. He knows you, you see. And yet he still loves you. I mean, that's the amazing thing. I mean, all the rest of us can love you because we don't know you so well. But he loves you even though he knows you with his whole heart. He knows every bit of you. And he loves you still. See, our dear Father made you to have fellowship with himself, to be his friend. That's what will go on and on forever. I don't know if you've ever thought of eternity, but I mean, it's all right saying, oh, I'm looking forward to eternity. Oh, it'll be great when we're there. But really, in certain moments, if you can conceive of infinity and thank God, and I say that really, we can't too often conceive of infinity. If you ever do conceive of infinity, have you ever been frightened by it and terrified by it? It's terrible. I mean, in one way, to think of this going on and on forever and ever is terrible. Except if it's a friend that we can trust. If it's a dear friend that we can trust, friendship is the only thing that could go on forever and ever and never bore you into hell, you see. So it's friendship and fellowship that is the purpose that we're made for.